What's up everyone back again to look at another stock and today the stock I'm looking at is ticker symbol BILL. They're a software company and they deal with billing and processing. So before I get into this stock, I would like to say this. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm not a stock guru. I'm just some investor that's looking for stocks to buy or invest into a company. And it's just a one of these companies that's a software company that deals with billing. And I just wanted to see what's about because Monthly Fools made an article about them that they're a good company to buy. But hey, let's see what this company is all about. So before I get into it, the co-pilot, what it says about it, right? Currently it's $52.83. And the Weekly is down by 1.2%. In the past month, it's up 10%. And a year is down 56%. In five years, it is up 35%. And all time high, or the all time, it was at $38.42, or $52.83. And Whenever in December it was thirty eight dollars and five cents. Now the analysts have a positive outlook on Bill Holding Inc. or Incorporate or B I L L, and with a twelve month price target of eighty seven dollars and ninety four cents. With from fifty two dollars, that's a pretty good earning. With the estimate as low as sixty dollars and as high as one hundred and forty forty five dollars, so it's a sixty six point fifty two rate of return. You know what? That's that's a really good rate of return. And let's see if they ticker symbol B I L L. Let's see if they do a dividend. So currently they don't do a dividend, so I won't be investing because this is trying to go into my dividend portfolio. So that's from chat gpt and this is the company they are a account payable receivable company and a bookkeeping company it looks like so they do have a mobile they have invoicing and they take payments online now i don't know what's different from this in quickbooks or the pricing so we can look at the pricing real quick it seems like they have a fairly um, reasonable price per user. So $45 per user for business accountants. Okay, it's not a bad pricing for a monthly fee. Um, I paid like 200 bucks for QuickBooks. So this might be cheaper. But let's look at the Q3 core release. Let's see what. They say, so they're a digital on-ramp replacing le legacy paper-based process. So they look like they're for billing process, trying to get efficiency going. So U.S. opportunities, $35 million. SMB software spent $75 billion. Global, MD million. Now, this is a totally optional program. It looks like they're their database or their back end looks just like QuickBooks. So it looks like it's pretty easy to use. And surprisingly, Financial Institute that has dealt with them is American Express, Wells Fargo, and JP Morgan. So they're trying to save money on Excel paperwork, Excel and paper, point solution paper, and do more electronics. So, acquisition is a new customer, increased adoption. All right. So, it just looked like a simple company. Operation costs. So, I'm going to go. It looks like a simple company. So, let's go look at the insider trading see if there's 
So chief legal officer or compliance officer is selling. And that that doesn't and he's selling all his stocks it looks like. So there's insider, I don't like this. So already I'm not going to buy it because it doesn't pay dividend, but this is another reason why I won't buy it because their legal officer is selling and he's he's selling pretty much all his stocks. So it's not helping the growth of the company with him selling 3k share at a valuation of 162,000, 60,000, 63,000, 18,000, you know, that and just this year it looks like it's about 200,000 that insider trading of them selling. Their profit margin, here's another reason. Their net profit is negative 21%. So even though they have increase, they have a negative net profit. I am, like I said, I don't like buying a company that's in a negative. It's pointless to me as an investor to go into a company that is losing money. It just doesn't make sense. So the analyst here says the target price is $76. I just don't see how whenever they're they're not making profit. So and their revenue is in the negative. Any good news about them? Um, I don't see any really news about them. So I don't think this company is right off the get go. It's not good to invest in, even though people are saying to buy it. Just looking at this projection line right here, whatever the analyst says is seventy six dollars. It doesn't look like it's going to be. It looks like it's going to be more in the forty dollar range. So right there is something I don't want to deal with. It looks like it's going to be dropping prices. They have been hitting their reports, earnings, and there is a buy from analysts. I just don't trust this analyst. I don't know who looked at it, but looking at the company with it, all the people in the people inside selling, or and it's just not good. It's been incorporated since 2018. So it's it's not vetted in. It hasn't been around a long time. And the options looks like it does have some people interested in it, but it's not a very high volume. Let's look at the put. Same thing. There's not a very high volume of interest in this. So you're not going to get a very much. You're not going to get much movement from this company. So. Should you buy this? No. I, I, I wouldn't buy it because. It's not making money for one. Two. The insider trading is the. The legal advisor selling the company stocks. And three. They're in a negative. You know, those three things, I just wouldn't buy them. And my fourth criteria is kind of, they need to pay a dividend. They need to kind of be vetted in so that, hey, I'm investing. Since I'm not part of the board and I can't make any decision, I at least want to get paid out from this stock. So, hey, please like and subscribe to my videos. And that's all I got for this one. It's, it's just not worth buying or looking into anymore. I can click through this chart some more but it looks like it's going to be dropping some more to be honest guys maybe if it gets to twenty dollars i might invest in this but as right now it's not worth buying later guys